as that dry air mass moves in and the dry air will be reinforced actually thanks to Ian and the track it's going to be taking. Right now winds of 100 miles an hour, so it is now a Category 2. The expectation is that it will become a 3 before reaching western Cuba because the upper environment and the surrounding environment is completely uh, kind of a uh, 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 free of any obstacles that would prevent this from further strengthening and that will likely be the case as it initially moves into the Gulf. Eventually later this week conditions in the Gulf will worsen, but in the near future through about Wednesday, it'll be kind of open for business and that is why the expectation is for it to become a four. It is still very possibly becomes a five and none of the models are really going that high with the strength, but certainly a possibility. The big question mark though for folks in Florida is exactly when and where it will make landfall if it's sooner it would likely be still as a strong major hurricane, maybe a three at that point. But the longer it takes to move inland, the weaker the storm will become because then the environment becomes more hostile. However, the longer it takes to move inland, while yes, it will help to weaken it, that just prolongs the effects across almost the entirety of the Florida Peninsula with the rain, wind and storm surge. Now also keep in mind with the center of the storm offshore, that's going to be the more catastrophic wind. However, they're still going to get some damaging winds across almost the entire state. Still a little bit of a spread in the models in days three and four, but basically really since late last week, the models have been zeroing in on the west coast of Florida and they have not changed. What's very interesting, normally by this date, or I should say by this date, we have had nine name storms for four hurricanes and only one major. Maybe changing that if Ian becomes a major hurricane. On average, though, we've had 10 name storms, four hurricanes, and two majors. So just that fast, we've been running so below average for so long this uh, hurricane season, we've quickly come up to almost average for this time of the year. There's only one other area that we're watching right now in the Atlantic Basin, and this is a very weak system at the moment, and most of the models keep it very, very weak. As I said, the upper pattern is going to be favoring us. Here comes the upper trough that's pushing the front on through. And as Ian moves northward, that will start pulling the storm, not quickly, but pulling it toward Florida and eventually bringing in drier air for us. Another big key to reason why the storm will start weakening is as the wind shear increases, thanks to the upper trough, we'll also start to see some dry air intrusion, which will kind of cut off the center and really also help to weaken the storm. So the wind shear and dry air will all play a factor in the quick weakening of the storm as we get toward late Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. 